everyone welcome to another video my name is Dorcas to those who are new here I'm a work from home stay at home mom no I'm a stay at home work from home mom and I'm a mom of two and I'm also away so thank you if you are returning here I appreciate the support those who are new I hope I'll earn your subscription and thank you for always coming back to watch my videos so today is a different morning we want to do something different and this day we are starting off by making some breakfast and I'm preparing some crepes. I'm preparing some crepes, and crepes are very different from pancake because in pancake we use uh, most of most of the times in pancake we use something like a raising agent. But when you are making crepes, we just use plain flour without it using anything like uh, baking soda or anything like self raising flour. I hope I'm clear on that. Let's get into the ingredients of the day. Yeah, I have the ingredients that I'll be using. I'll be using some margarine. I prefer adding prefer I prefer using margarine instead of cooking cooking oil because margarine or butter has a very nice flavor. So most of the time I opt to go for margarine. So I have some margarine here and then I have some sugar. This is sugar and um I have some milk. Yeah, when you're making also pancake or any crepes, do not use water. Yeah, water in anger taste poor sana. So I always prefer to use some milk. So I'll be adding in some milk. That's why it is in this bowl. So I have my milk here. And then to my warm spices of the day, I'll be using some nutmeg. And then I'll be using some cinnamon. I'm going to be using some turmeric because I'm not going to be using some eggs. So um, I'll be forced to add in a bit of turmeric to give it some color. But if you are using egg, you don't need to add the turmeric, but you can also add if you want to. Yeah, so this is not a problem. So I'll be adding it some turmeric just for the color. thing that we need is some sugar. I love sprinkling some sugar whenever I cook my pancakes or whenever I make some waffles. Now that I have a machine. Yeah, so I love sprinkling a bit of, uh, the, a bit of honey and it makes it more more delicious and more appealing so once my crepes are cooked i'll be adding in some honey yeah so and then we'll be adding in a pinch of salt and of course we'll be had we'll be adding in our flour this as i said is plain flour and this is everything you need to make your amazing and delicious pancakes let's get to mixing the wet ingredients uh, oh today we start by the dry and then we go to the wet ingredients so Trend Kazi, I uh, will not be measuring this because I'm used to making these things. I don't need to actually measure. So I'll be adding in my flour. I'll add in some cinnamon. Yeah, I love cinnamon. If you have been here in this channel for a while, now you know that I love some cinnamon. So I'll add in the cinnamon. I'll add in the nutmeg. And for the nutmeg, lazima niweka kwa mbadi sana because it's really strong. Yeah, I love it, but ukipitisha, you not love the pancakes. So I'll just add a little amount. Yeah, if you have used nutmeg, you know, it's very strong. So we use it kidogo sana. So to my turmeric, I'll be adding in some turmeric. As well, turmeric kusi overdo because uki overdo turmeric pia utapenda. Yeah, so that one will be enough, I guess. And then... I'll be adding in the salt. I'll be adding in the salt. For the salt, to take a kombadi as well. Sishindo keka salt mingi because we are going to use some sugar. And crepes are, they are sweet, but the sweetness depends on your preference. So, um, I'll go ahead and add in the, this is the sugar now. Yeah. If you like it sweet, well and good if you like it moderate well and good yeah so yeah so I'll, I'll mix everything here and then i'll now go ahead and add in the milk once everything is mixed up so i'll go ahead and add in the milk as i said remember uh when you're making crepes just use milk or when you're making pancakes just use milk because the taste is very different when you, you compare to when you use some water, yeah. But anyway, if you don't have milk at hand and you want to enjoy your pancakes or your crepes, just go ahead and make whatever you are making. So I'll add, I'll add in more milk. 
you add in more milk and you continue mixing so i have to ensure my paste is a bit lighter so let me get some more milk i'll add it here and i'll continue kneading until i get the the paste that i need so this is how my mixture is looking like as i said for the crepes the mixture is usually very very thin yeah you can see this is how i uh this is how your mixture should be yeah should look like and by the way, I forgot to mention, if you don't have too many cut hand and you have a bit of food color, the yellow food color, you can go ahead and add it in. And we are ready now to fry the pancakes. So let's go to the other side of making the yummiest and delicious pancakes. Yeah, so this is how it should be. Very thin. Very, very thin. I am going to use my pastry brush to brush my my pan because i want to control the amount of uh, butter or margarine that i'm putting to the pan and the best way to do that is for me to use this pastry brush yeah so i find this is more this is more effective compared to a spoon because you just brush whatever you are brushing to your pan and then we now start the process of making our our crepes so i'll use this measuring cup and then i'll pour the amount that is needed on my pan that is enough then i'll be spreading it all over yeah you can spread it all over like this with ease with a lot of ease yeah so i just spread it that way allow it to cook once the bubbles are formed on top it will tell me that it is ready to be flipped i'll flip it at that point and then we are going to see the outcome yeah go ahead lights on but there ain't no one in the apartment i was shotgun to the airport think i'm getting car sick we gave two years to the relationship Now the time's gone, did we waste that shit? Didn't move all the way to New York Just to bartend But I can't stand looking in your eyes Scared of what I'll find I can't give you what you want Without losing what I need I can't give you what you want Without taking care of me uh. And deep down I've been dealing with regret But I know I can't trust it Cause if I gotta choose between me and you Then you're gonna lose But what I wanna know when I'm feeling low Are you already seeing other dudes? I just can't stand looking in your eyes Scared of what I'll So I'll add in the best beans And then I'll add in a bit of garlic and onion powder and some black pepper. Without taking care of me. Oh, 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 oh. I can't give you what you want without taking care of me. Can't stand looking in your eyes. I don't want you to see me cry. are ready and this is how they look like i say they are very very tiny or oh, they are very thin not tiny thin yeah so this is how they are looking like 
so everything is ready my eggs are ready my beans are ready so i'll go ahead and just serve and uh, we'll eat our breakfast yeah so these are the crepes let's serve everything else yeah go ahead lights on but there ain't no one in the apartment i was shotgun to the airport think i'm getting car sick we gave two years to the relationship now the time's gone did we waste that shit didn't move all the way to new york just to bartend but i can't stand looking in your eyes scared of what i'll find i can't give you what you want without losing what i need i can't give you what you want without taking care of me oh, 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 oh. i can't give you what you want without taking care of me 14 days since i left losing you is an adjustment and deep down i've been dealing with regret but i know i can't trust it if I gotta choose between me and you, then you're gonna lose. But what I wanna know when I'm feeling low, are you already? Yeah, so my people yesterday after I took breakfast, I had I was going out and I, I was going to get a few things that I was running out in the house. So I got a few things, but I forgot to, to record where I was where I was. So I want to show you what I got. There are very few things that I, I got. Because I didn't need much, this is just a restock of what I needed in the house. You guys know every time when you have a family, you're always running out of something. And I want to show you what we have here. So, the first thing that I got was this bar of soap. This one, some I bought in the supermarket, some I bought in the wholesale shops just near me. So, like this one was going for 240 This one I, got, I bought it in a wholesale shop not in the supermarket so this one was one bar the one kg bar yeah so another thing that i got was oil this is um five liter oil this one was going for 1100 i bought this one in the wholesale wholesale shop as well so that one was going for 1100 in the supermarket i got some butter yeah we uh, we love using butter in this house so i got some butter I can't remember the price but i guess it was around 420 if i'm not wrong yeah this one i got it in the supermarket and then i got some few i got some biscuits yeah this one i got them in the supermarket i got some mandazi yeah i got some mandazi yeah this one was good for 50 bob i like mentioning the price so that if you feel something is um overpriced where i am you can also tell me so i got some red and yellow bell peppers this one was going for 40 bob each yeah so and then because our place we keep on uh the lights keep on going on and off so i got some candles i bought it in a pack this was going for 60 shop in a wholesale shop for 60 bob in a wholesale shop i also got some um uji flour for the babies some porridge flour for the babies yeah, I can't remember the price of this, but I guess around 160 there, not too sure. So the other things that I got, this one I got it, I got them from the supermarket, are these things. I don't know, um, I've not seen this before, but I saw it interesting to make something, uh, some of the things that are here from the Kitu Naitango Ajei and Yenakonsha, what you can make. So I got this one, so I was going for 200 in the supermarket. Yeah, good to engage the babies. And to make them think, think more. I also got a fruit. Is it a fruit or a fruit? Let me say whatever you call it. I got a fruit, and this one was going for 220 shillings. And then I got these building blocks. Yeah, I've eyed these building blocks, building blocks for so long. So I bought these ones. I love the colors. I love that they are quite many. So this one will help the baby to uh the children to just be creative and do something different from what they are used to so these blocks were going for 690 bob from the supermarket the other thing that i got were these cheese there were two types of cheese that i got because i want to make something with them so i got the mozzarella cheese and i got the feta cheese the feta this mozzarella was going for 399 that's basically 400 and this one feta was going for 375 shillings yeah so i got these types of cheese 
and again i got this type this beef sausages i actually i'm not i don't prefer the beef sausages most of the time i prefer buying the pork sausages but these ones were on offer so i decided to buy them yeah they were on offer so i got the beef sausages this uh this soda was is one liter fanta passion no black currant black currant it was going for 120 baht. That one I didn't buy in the supermarket, I bought it in the wholesale shop. And then in the supermarket, I wanted to try these rice cakes. Yeah, I wanted to try them. They were going for 180. Yeah, they are very good, especially because they don't have gluten. So they'll be ideal for me, especially now that I don't want to take any wheat products, but I'm minimizing on taking wheat products. So I just got these rice cakes, 180 bob. And they are the salted ones. So I want to try this, I'll tell you how they taste. And still on that, I got some some buns. You can already tell which supermarket I was in. Um, yeah, I got some buns. Those ones were going for 60 shillings. And uh, that's everything. That's Oh, I got other things like uh, the peanut butter. I love this peanut butter. It's one of my favorite, favorite peanut butter. So I got this one, the peanut butter. And then I got this chocolate cellar set up because you guys know i love presenting my food or my desserts in um in a very attractive manner so i got this dessert this one this one this one um this one is a chocolate sauce i got it at 350 shillings from neighbor supermarket yeah so that is it so again as i was coming back i went to one of the shops the second hand shops I needed to buy my hubby some shorts because uh, he, uh, the ones that he has are running, they are, they are, yeah, he's overgrowing them, some are even fading, so I passed by one of the, the shops there. So this shop is called Seven Sunday, if you are in Georgia, you know Seven Sunday. So I got this short, this, this is a black pair, yeah, so this one was going for 300 bob, and I got another short for him, this one is beige in color. It was going for 300 bob as well and i got some other black shorts and they were going for 300 and 300 bob as well so uh, my husband is the kind of person who not buy himself some clothes so me as uh, as his wife and he doesn't mind he can even wear jeans which are which are faded he can so uh, yeah, um, I got this pair of trousers for him. This one was going for 1200. This one I bought, these ones are new, they are not second hand. So I bought it in one of the shops in Georgia. So this one was going for 1200, 1200 bob. And then I also, there were two pairs of pants. So I also got another one. Yeah, uh, two different colors. Yeah, so this one's were going for 1200 each. So this is what I got him. Um, when, when I got these trousers, I was gifted this dish, this one, let me just show it here, this is what he gifted me, yeah, I think he was just telling me to come back again, because, you know that, we know that, yeah, so, anyway, this is everything I got, I didn't have many things that I was buying, and this is it, this is it, so, I think from here, I will need to make some food, of which I haven't figured out what I'm going to make, but if I figure out in between and there is need for recording, I'll obviously record that. But uh, let me see you when I'm doing something else. Yeah. For dinner, I decided we are going to have to be having some minced meat. I have some minced meat here. This one was frozen, but it has already thawed. So we have some minced meat. And then I like bulking up my 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 meat stews with a lot of vegetables so i'll be doing some carrots and i'll be doing some peas yeah these are carrots and the peas so this is a these are the only vegetables i'm going to use to my minced meat then on top of that now we have the tomatoes yeah i'll be chopping these tomatoes we have the onions we have the garlic and we have the ginger and this is everything for the minced meat stew so for the spices i'm going to show you what i'm going to use but they are obviously the common ones that you have already in your pantry so let's go to the cooking i'm not going to blow to boil my minced meat i'll directly cook it because i want all the flavors to be retained 
So I'll directly start by frying it and then we'll be adding the other vegetables later. So I think the self the recipe is self-explanatory. I don't need to go to details of where to put A and where to put B. So I hope you follow along and get to see how I make my stew. Yeah, Lights on but there ain't no one in the apartment. I was shotgun to the airport, think I'm getting car sick. We gave two years to the relationship Now the time's gone, did we waste that shit? Didn't move all the way to New York Just to bartend But I can't stand looking in your eyes Get so, so for the oil, for the oil I'm going to use a little Because remember this is meat, it has its own oil So I'm just going to use a um, little amount Just to fry the onions Carry me on So my onions are coming along well, so I'm just going to grate in the ginger and the garlic in here. Yeah, sometimes I just uh, chop my ingredients as I go because, like today I'm rushing, I don't have a lot of time. So we chop and cook as we move. So I'll just grate in the ginger and the garlic. Hello, are you already seeing other dudes? I just can't stand looking in your eyes. I'm just going to add in the minced meat and after adding it in obviously I'll give it a stir and because I just do the booty I'll allow it to be in the fire for a few minutes and then I'll be turning it around so as my meat is uh, cooking on the other hand I want to chop this carrot yeah, I just want to make them to a bit uh, tinier pieces, so I'll prepare this. And in uh, this summer, we cook as we as we chop the others. Yeah, go ahead. Lights on, but there ain't no one in the apartment. I was shotgun to the airport, think I'm getting car sick. We gave two years to the relationship Now the time's gone, did we waste that shit? Didn't move all the way to New York just to bartend But I can't stand looking in your eyes Scared of what I'll find I can't give you what you want without losing point i want to add in the the spices and the first one i'll be adding is the paprika paprika i'll just use it because of the color by the paprika i want in a taste just use it use it because of the color i'll add in the curry powder for the curry powder and tayekapia kombali because in a a bit salt salty and lastly i'll be adding in the beef masala so I'll just add in the beef masala. And lastly, I'll be adding in the, of course, I'll be adding in the salt to taste. A bit of water to allow the spices to cook. Yeah, so I'll leave, I'll leave this one to cook, the spices to cook for around five minutes. And then I'll be back to adding the, uh, the tomatoes. So the going is okay. At this point, I want to add in the tomatoes. And I won't stir the tomatoes. Because when they are too evil, I'll cover and allow them to cook until they go mashed up. So, so this is like seven minutes later. Yeah, and I'm loving everything. The tomatoes have really cooked well. So at this stage, I'll add in my peas. I'll add in my peas. 
and I'll add in my carrots. I'll add in my peas and the carrots at the same time because I know they'll take a bit longer to cook. So I just stir everything, allow them to absorb the, flav the flavors, and then later we'll be adding a little bit of water and our stew will be ready. So this is it. I yeah, so my going is really going well on this side. So I'm going to give this a stir. And now that everything has absorbed the flavors, the peas have absorbed the, the flavors, the carrots have absorbed in the flavors, I'm going to add in a bit of water. Not too much, my mountain people. I know us, so we're not adding too much. Yeah, we just want to add in the water just to cook in the peas and the carrots. And we do not need much water on this one, as I said. Yeah, we want our soup to be... Uh, a bit heavy our sauce to be a bit heavy and not watery so there we go so this is it i will transfer this to my other cooker here and then on this cooker here we'll be making the spaghetti i the water is already boiling so to my water i'll add in some salt i'll just add in enough salt but I'll be passing my spaghetti through some cold water, so let me add enough salt. And um, I'm now adding the spaghetti. So this is the, br the brand that I, f I prefer. It's Santa Lucia. This is the best brand. I'm not advertising it, but guys, if you have tried Santa Lucia or Santa Maria, you know that they really work well. Now, what is the shikani? So I prefer Santa Lucia. Even I prefer Santa Lucia, uh, Sana Kushinda, even Santa Maria. So I don't cut my spaghetti. I just put them in water the way they are. And I don't cook my spaghetti um, once everything in my gear. I won't cook them. I'll just cover them and allow them to boil, to be in hot water for the next seven to eight minutes. And they'll be ready. Yeah, go ahead. Lights on, but there ain't no one in the apartment. I was shotgun to the airport, think I'm getting car sick We gave two years to the relationship Now the time's gone, did we waste that shit? Didn't move all the way to New York, just the bartend But I... Now that every spaghetti is in, I'm just going to cover that And switch off my gas and allow my spaghetti to be here for the next 7 to 8 minutes And they'll be ready yeah, so guys, this is seven minutes later. We want to check on our spaghetti. And they are ready. They are ready. You can tell. They are so ready. So I'm going to drain this water. And then I'll pass them through cold water. And from there, I'll be returning them to the fire, adding a bit of butter. And our supper, our dinner will be ready. So they are done. Actually, you don't have to cook your spaghetti. Once you know this method, you don't have to cook your spaghetti. In a spaghetti ango shukana unless you're using the the brands which um was in a shukana. But for this brand, uh be sure that uh, utapata a nice outcome. So let's drain this. We pass them through cold water and then we'll see the next step. What you want without losing what I need. I can't give you what you want without taking care of me. Huh? So, um, as I said, the next step is to return your spaghetti to the fire, and then I'll be adding in my butter. You can add cooking oil, you can add margarine, you can add blue bun. It is whatever you have at hand. So, for me, I prefer adding in the the margarine, no, the butter. I prefer adding in the the butter, and you don't have to use a lot actually. So, after this. We are going to turn our spaghetti using a fork. So we keep on turning so that they don't stick on the bottom of the pan. But the best way that I do this is kuzinini, kuzirusha rusha ju. Let me show you what I mean. So this is the best way that I find myself going a little bit faster. 
So you return them to the fire. Allow that side to catch a bit of uh, fire. And then you re take them up again and uh, just do whatever I'm doing. And I love the smell of butter. It's smelling so nice. If you are not content with my procedure or my step or my whatever I'm doing, you can use a fork. But for me, na skeza kama fork ina take time. So I prefer the method nenye ni mewaonyesha. So that side is okay. So tunashika, tunarusha rusha. So I'll keep doing this until I feel that if, uh, the butter has combined well with the spaghetti and from there we'll be ready to serve. Yeah, go ahead. Lights on but there ain't no one in the apartment. I was shotgun to the airport, think I'm getting car sick. We gave two years to the relationship Now the time's gone, did we waste that shit? Didn't move all the way to New York Just to bartend But I can't stand looking in your eyes Scared of what I'll find I can't give you what you want Without losing what I need I can't give you what you want Without taking care of me Oh So thanks everyone for watching this video to the end. I'm glad you stuck um, to this far. So this is your chance to subscribe if you haven't. And I hope you enjoyed something and got something to take home. So this is our dinner. We'll just go sit down and enjoy it as a family. And allow me to see you on my next one. Bye.